Hello, this is David Wormsey and this is my second video taking a look at Beaver Thema and what's new in version 1.1, which as I'm recording this is still in its alpha version. If I go over to the Beaver Builder change logs, you'll see it's in alpha version two. And the big deal about this new update is that it's going to bring integrations with two very popular WordPress plugins. The first being the events calendar plugin, which I looked at in the last video. And in this one, I'm taking a look at easy digital downloads and the integration that is there. Now, I was wondering about the value of doing this second video. This is why there's a, a slight delay. So apologies for that, because if you're familiar with Beaver Thema already, and I, I hope you are, if you're watching this, you'll know that it already allows you to use the page builder to lay out your archive pages and your single post pages. And with both of these plugins, they have their own custom post types. So they have their own archive pages and single post pages. And that's where the integration comes in. So you probably probably don't really need this video the, the key thing is that I let you know that I've set up on my live demo site over at thema.beaverjunction.com examples over here so under this edd shop you'll you've got an archive page and I've created some single downloadable pages as well so you can just come here enter your email press try demo it's going to send you a link and you can come back and try out your own version of this site and play around with it so that's pretty much it. And also, if you don't want to listen to the video and just want to get the information, it's also over on the knowledge base at Beaver Builder here. So there's these three articles as well. So for those of you still left with me, perhaps I should just mention quickly what Easy Digital Downloads is. I'll be honest, I'm not that familiar with it myself. I've, this is the first time I've really actually set it up. I've known about it obviously for a long time, but I'm somebody who uses WooCommerce mostly and it's very similar to that in the sense that it's an e-commerce solution for wordpress and there's both free this is something you can download for free and get from the back end of your wordpress install and like woocommerce it comes with some premium add-ons as well but as the name suggests it's here and focuses very much on those who are selling digital products that can be downloaded so that's pretty much that. Let's go and take a look at uh, it in action then. So I will go over to the back end of my live demo site. And when you've got Thema installed, you get this extra theme layouts tab over here. And I'm in there already. And I've set up an archive page here. As you can see, it's set to archive. And I've also set up easy digital to download what I've called product page here, which probably called download page for them which is a singular page. So let's go and take a look at the archive page first. I'm going to click in on that and we'll see here if we go and take a look at our options, we'll see that I selected the download archive page over here, but you'll see you've also got the option to be able to style very differently, set up another template if you like for your category archives, if you've got a lot of downloads and also the same for your tags. So you could have, if you wanted, three different types of layout there. And that's pretty much all I can say on that. I think let's go in and launch the, the page builder so you can see how this looks. Now this isn't set up to look nice at all. I just really set up quick examples here. So once everything's installed, then you've got easy digital downloads with Themy, you get this extra tab here with EDD modules here. And it's just got one module, which is called downloads, which I have dragged in. And as you'll see, when you open this up, it is as far as I can tell, exactly the same as the Beaver Builder post module when you've got Thema on. So you've got all the same kind of styling options. So you can you know, change the background colors and the size of your fonts and colors of all that sort of stuff. And then your layout options, you get to choose whether you <clears throat> want to put, excuse me, the image on, the featured image on and what size, author, date, comments and all that stuff is the stuff that you would generally show on posts. So they're all hidden on here. And we've got these here, these two extra items called the download price, which I've turned on and is showing here. And we've got the basket button, which I've also got on show and is showing over here as well. So, you know, this is the same as the post module. So you've got all of these options to lay them out how you like here. And you've also got my favorite, the option to be able to customize the actual WordPress loop, if you like, on these, you can go in and with a little bit of knowledge of HTML, you can arrange these 
however you like and and also connect them up with field connectors and that's one of the key things about beaver themer so that's pretty much all i can say on that really so i'm going to cancel that and i think i'll just backspace to where we were before so just the one module there using the post module if i come back out here let's go into the single post page or download page again as i've said it's singular here if we go and take a look at the locations we'll see again we can have a different style for categories and tags as well i've just set one up for the simple download page itself just the, the singular one here so let's take again a look with the page builder view and there we are now this is a really terrible layout here but as with the other page here we get some new modules assigned to us when everything's in here so they're pretty self-evident we've got an add to basket button which i have put down here um, we've got download descriptions which is really the WYSIWYG area that you see the top area which is usually where you have the posts on normal posts but in easy digital downloads it's it's here the download description we've got the download price which I stuck over here obviously I can move these wherever I like and the download title which is effectively the same when you're using Thema with a post it'll allow you to have the post title as well and it's pretty much the same let's just have a quick click so you can see what's here it's got the the basic styling you would expect um, with the price we'll take a look at that one this allows you to decide whether it's left right or center and the font size and the text color if you're trying this out at the moment i've already reported that there is a slight little bug which i'm sure they'll fix next time around that if you set the colors for your row and then try and add the color to your price here it won't overwrite the one that's in the row if you don't have the color set in the row it'll be fine it will change but i'm sure they'll get that changed this is really just displaying that content so you've really only got your margin and padding for description um, let's take a look at the button here and you've got just some basic styling you can change the background color and the text color but nothing for the hover over effects on that so it's quite sort of basic stuff the main key thing really with this is that you've now got that flexibility to move this content around where you like and of course with field connectors you can add in your own custom content that you want to add to those download pages as well so I think that pretty much concludes it I hope that was of use to someone if you did like it then, then please give me a thumbs up and if you didn't then feel free to tell me otherwise I will see you soon on the next video so thanks very much for listening and goodbye